unless he has something to explain at the beginning. Uh, there's nothing I have to explain at the, get at the beginning, so I guess, okay. Well, we got to start first. Start first countdown. Five, four, three, two, Actually, crap, I don't see why you can't Fun just go ahead and commentate now since this is a really long intro cutscene. Okay, so. yeah. okay. <laughs> it's, uh, yeah. uh, well, I'm Hauser. Uh, I'm Elsa Roth. And I'm the Englishman. All right. I am Carcinogen. <laughs> I was. Uh, I'm Satori. Yeah, people. Where did you come from? And they I'm remember me from last year. So, yeah. There's my buddy Puexel over here. Yeah, just, 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 okay, I read some oh, yeah, of course. Go ahead. Yeah, we got a $5 donation from Zero Valentine. We said, Shame be to you all if the fusion dance doesn't make the highlight reel. $5 Pokemon trainer name equals Pinky. Yes. As the person making the highlight reel, I guarantee you that will make it in. <laughs> oh, man. Then we've got $20 from Noah Tomlin, also known as the Englishman over there. I definitely asked for this, looking forward to Human Revolution as well as the rest of the marathon. I just wish I could stay for the whole thing. Uh, we're here for this. Oh, by the way, we have, if you, you did ask for this. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. You're not the only one. Yeah, yeah, you want to say that? Yeah. How's it? Nope, oh, that's it? Oh, yeah. Um, the donation prize for this is um, a copy of the game for yourself. You can request which version. We'll get in contact with you, right? Yeah, we'll get, in contact, we'll get in contact with you, and you'll tell us which version you want. That's PS, uh, PlayStation 3, Xbox 360, a PC, a physical copy of the game, and a Steam key for it, if that's what you wish. I will need your Steam key for that, though. And the donation is $10, if I recall, to, to get in on that. How much does the game cost? And that's a good question. Actually, you might... It's... Yeah, yeah, but it went down. It knows that the price pretty quick. Yeah, it's, it's I would say maybe five. Bucks I'm actually there. surprised that there's a. It's not under like it's not under like twenty bucks on Steam, isn't it? I actually, it might not be. It might be forty. It's forty or more. It's still fifty, still 50 without the okay. sale price. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, so, yeah, it's ten dollars to donation yeah, to get yeah, you yeah. in the morning. So in other words, yeah, if you were Human Revolution is getting a Mac port at some point earlier this year. So it is, that's true. Yeah. Is if you're like me, you only have a Mac for gaming. Um, but I mean, like the one thing about the it's one whatever version they prefer. The one thing about the Steam version, the chances are that they might have Steam Play for it. Yeah. So like that, so like that way you can you can have both the PC version and the Mac version. Yeah, yeah. Mind you, there, there's been a lot of there's been a lot of uh, <laughs> uh, Mac ports that for some reason are just on the App Store. Uh -huh. Like uh, Bioshock 2, they just, uh, only only App Store. Now, are they going to release this game on the Vectrex? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't ask for that. I did not. It has to be a point-and-click adventure. You mean this game isn't already? It's, it's, a, it's a it's a it's a rotate stick and point gun adventure. at face. Hey, Actually, it's, so you're going to be very you're disappointed with this run then. Yeah, Netflix lost so far. You know, <laughs> so no spoiler. No. I'm doing pretty good. Well, you'll see. You know, the game the game practically plays itself. I'm actually a little bit disappointed with her dress. What is up with that collar? I mean, it's it's it's, it's like supposed to be a Renaissance. It's, it's the year 2027. Like, so, like 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 it's like the people that are dressed all Renaissance like support augmentation and like the guys who are dressed like casually don't support augmentation. Yeah. Like that's, or at least so what about him? Is. He's dressed like that. He's dressed like a person. Um, you won't see much of him. He's dressed like a person. Like you know, it's kind of it's kind of ambiguous. But, but I don't know, you'll see a lot of him if you use a lot. Yeah, of Yeah, we only see it through his eyes. No, I mean, even if you're grabbing cover, it always zooms out. Oh right, yeah. yeah. Has there a way I can turn this up and use it from the sub actually? Because um, I do run on several audio cues. Yeah, for almost all of my RPG runs, I have to go off audio yeah. cues because they won't shut up. But it's like mostly because I need to know like what the guards are going to do, like especially in the yeah. intro here, because I'm gonna try I'm gonna try and see if I can get the game without dying this time. If I if I get a clean deathless run, I'll actually. If you end up it. killing anybody in the intro, does it does it still count towards your overall kills, or do you have to? I'm sorry. Oh, in, in the prologue, yes, it does. Yeah, I'll do a, I'll do I'll do a pacifist run while I'm at it. I mean, why not? Maybe even try for no alarms. He's such a sarcastic yeah. little. That guy? Pritchard, yeah. Yeah. And since he he you don't fix an entire firewall. Since he dresses like a pawn, he's a, he he supports the. Well, everybody, I mean, you're in you're in one of the like number both, one. Like both Jensen, like both Jensen and Pritchard, it's like very it's very ambiguous who they support. Like, like throughout, throughout the plot. Like they don't. Oh, well, again, I mean Jensen, you can kind of 
hit, make him like you know as if he supports it yes. or not. Like, you, yes. but Pritchard is pretty ambiguous. Like I don't really he ends up not having any the choice though. Well, he was going to die. But I'm gonna. But I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna knock him out because like in my normal, in my normal route, I just no, no. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go with Pritchard because like he's just. I'm very surprised with the, the fan reception. Like, it's, it's, it's a really a good, a really rare example of, of a long-awaited sequel that, that actually lived actually up to expectations. Yeah. It's a good game. Like, there is especially seeing as the previous game. The Invisible War that yeah. might have been helped get the high reception because Invisible War was such a letdown to get this game. Yeah. Supposedly, I've it's not played. Honestly, I played it. and I didn't even mind it that much when I played. It's just I don't know. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not say I. This is really the my jumping in point for the series. And like, I mean, I played one a little bit and two a little bit. Like, this is a solid game. Like, yeah, it's very, very, very. Solid. Actually, my first point was actually Invisible War, so I didn't know what the hubbub was about. I played it. And I'm like, well, this is kind of a standard game. Then I went back and played one. I'm like, oh, well, that's why everyone didn't like this before part one. I still haven't finished. Actually, I've maybe I haven't even finished the prologue in that one. So Unfortunately, I'm I was one of the few people for whom the voice acting was something that would turn off. I just, I never found it bad enough to be charming, or bad enough to be charming. It was just sort of there. So, are every is every single code in this run consistent? Yes, it is. So you can you literally have just a list you run through in your head, and like oh yeah, da 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 da. Yeah, well actually I have it on my phone. But yeah, we already quotes on the page. Well, I mean, but I, but I mean like I have most of the list in my head. Yeah, it, it probably doesn't tell her. I mean, there's a lot of code. Actually, it might not be that many for a speed run, but there are a lot of codes in the game. Well, yeah, yeah. if you're trying to go everywhere, but my guess is that there's not as many. Hey, how about you? What's up? Hi, G. Okay. I hope you've donated. Uh, so one of the oh. things I'm doing to maintain my to maintain my sprint is to not sprint around corners. I could just disable sprint and just turn around the corner. So when you turn while sprinting, it messes it up. Uh, I think it's slower. Because uh, because like you're kind of you're kind of wasting sprint. You're kind of wasting sprint going around yeah, corners. Yeah, you might as well just. Okay, I need an audio cue here for like maybe for maybe a minute here. I think it's gotta be the I think it's gotta be the bandwidth at this point because it's pretty soon on here. I think I need to drop it a Okay. So what's up? Well the graphics are really good on this. Even like, you know. I it actually is. take it back. I do ask for his implanted sunglasses. <laughs> They're really, they'd just be really convenient. Well, not only that, but he looks ridiculous with that. His face just looks absurd. I think he looks like a pretty normal individual. Well, yeah, that's the problem. Like, when he went into the cover, it looked ridiculous compared to his later in the game. Oh! You're hit. Wait, really? Seriously? You can do that? Wait, That's what? awesome. Did you just kill that person? No, no, no. You're supposed to let that gate land, and yeah. you see her do this whole spin around thing, kind of like that. I didn't realize there was that. I just I just crashed right through, like, every oh, way through. Yeah, let's say, like, I'm almost certain the gate closes. I don't know. I haven't played the intro since I first got the game, but I want to say the gate closes. Oh, no. Oh, no. This is not good. Oh, wow. Damn! So the intro honestly is some of the highest. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't. Death. I didn't. Yeah, I didn't crash fast enough. Like, there's, there's, there's a lot of choke points in there. Well, okay, yeah. I guess I'm not. I guess I'm not really keeping this run. Oh well. Yeah. Um, so at least you get to see a basic layout of one of my. Um, yeah, go ahead. <laughs> we got a ten dollar donation from Rise Woodward Carlton. Okay, you know what? Actually, if we have a minute, I need to kill the stream for like thirty seconds. Oh wow! Really? Wait, did it load you? Yeah, it loaded me right there. That's some of the design in this game. I okay. really like how it doesn't automatically erase your auto save. It just sends it down a list. Is there a good, there a good time coming up that I can kill the stream for like thirty seconds? Um, yeah, you you, you can go ahead. Okay, just all right. So I, I gotta kill the stream for thirty seconds. It'll be back short.
and you said, well, oh, second game of the marathon. Fifth game. Well, I, I told him I, I, I didn't tell him exactly which game. Yeah. Oh my god, I almost died. Yeah, your health is in bad shape. Oh no, never mind, I was thinking of a different area. That's uh... Okay, good, now it saves here. That's perfect. Uh, give me Deus Ex, it's the hardest difficulty. Now, of yes. the run, would you say have, this is have probably they the hardest how much HP you have? Um, not, not really. So you I, 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 would, I wouldn't really say I wouldn't really say anything in this yeah, run is particularly hard. I mean, like if you watch if you watch my route, you can do it yourself. Essentially, that was just bad luck. It's a little slow. What is okay. what is going on here? This is okay. what this is, this never happens. Welcome to the marathon. Yep. This no no no. I'm like, what? Okay. Right, was so the game patched? No, no, it wouldn't it, matter. It's, it was it's, just, not, it's not patched. It's, it's just like, I have no idea what happened there. That's like the second time that's happened. That never happens. I, I kid you not. Well, I mean, it's it's just gonna just. Oh, yeah, it's gonna yeah, it's gonna it's like we met the Ashley Suplex target. Oh, okay. That's going to be after. Really, um, I dropped it to 15 frames per second. That's super hot. So, uh, what are the targets for the cutscene? Are they up for it? Just adding a new experience. There we go. Okay, good. Oh, yeah, they went through that real normal. Uh, well, it's just an option in, in this menu here. Yeah, no, it's an option. You just have to, the thing is, you have to kill this thing to change it. All right. Oh no! Oh man! Ooh, you clipped that corner. That was yeah. sketchy. Okay. Yeah. See, that's how that's how it's supposed to go. I can usually get it ninety percent of the time, but it's like that. That was just extremely bad luck. I don't know what happened there. Yeah, that looked pretty. Uh, Marathon. Yeah. Pretty so good. that viewers, I apologize. <laughs> yeah. Um, anyway, we're 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 up, right? Yeah, we're up. Yeah. Sorry. Okay. Yeah, we, we've been up. <laughs> I, just had, I had to kill it and change the frame rate so it wasn't so choppy. Okay. It was down for like 10 seconds. Oh, okay. Yeah. It was down for like the loading time. Yeah. Here's the augmentation. Oh, God. The screen's all buggy. Sorry if we have sick leave so soon, but we've got a situation. Oh, so you got. Let's say, do you actually have to talk to Pritchard to get your, your screen fixed? Yeah, you do. Can you go through the entire game? <laughs> no, no, you can't. No. You well, to, you, you have to talk to Pritchard no matter what. That's a shame. What a shame. <laughs> hey, talk to me. He's telling me to shut up before the fourth part is going to happen. So we've got, okay. We've got ten dollars from uh, Rise Woodward Tarleton. We've got ten dollars from Willem Torenberg. Ten dollars from Scott Swisher, who said your appointment to FEMA should be finalized within the week. This marathon, the speed running, is intensifying to the point where we may not be able to contain it. I never asked for this, but stock up on candy bars. Get pills against my orders. Get moving. Yeah, I get a lot, a lot of candy bars in this run. Oh, We've got seven dollars from Edward. Hemsley, donation for Jill remake. Let's hope there's enough time for sleep between the start of day or between the end of Deus Ex and the start of the Yeah, that's what fifteen from Johannes Riebel. Ten dollars from Joshua Wiegman. Thanks for the stream, folks. Longtime fan of the site and appreciate the cause. Five dollars from Samuel Zick. One hundred dollars from Jacob Yarmouth. Fifty dollars for Suplex Ashley. Fifty dollars for singing the theme song you Pokemon. Well, uh, we have ten dollars for Marvel Hell on Cool Day. I want to be in the drawing for Deus Ex. Was too stupid to pick it up on the Steam sale. <laughs> well, <laughs> you only ten dollars now. How much was this? Oh, it was. Oh, it was ten ninety nine. Ten ninety nine. Yeah, it was low. Fifty dollars for the Dazzle Pointless. I was happy to pick up Skyrim. There is no better price for the TF2 trailer than a random map. And last one, ten dollars from Joshua McKean. Some must know. I'm not gonna read this. Okay. Was it the same joke? Yeah. So the Ashley Suplex is just bad. Also. There are uh, two other cutscenes that uh, I'm 
uh, somebody donations so, for. Yeah, uh, we're gonna donate twenty five dollars if you want to see the uh, your right hand Cubs off cutscene uh, from chapter four one, and an extra fifteen if you want me to voice act over it, and uh, thirty if you okay. want me to do voices for the Krauser knife fight Ooh. chapter five three. So, so uh, what do you have? You want to see those? Oh, wait. <laughs> oh, come on. There we go. Oh, you were a big bad skull. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I'm not too good at first person shooters, so my flow is a little off, but. Well, on the bright side, this is a sneaky mission. Yeah, this is a sneaky mission. That's why you have that suit, that's why you're. Uh, yeah. I haven't played a Metal Gear in a while, so. All you need is the exclamation marks over their heads. I mean, the AI, I hate to say it, the AI is dumb enough that it, it's comparable to Metal Gear. Isn't this the first is it comparable to Tenchu Z? Tenchu Z is pretty bad. Oh, goody. Pritchard. It's pretty clear that Pritchard and Jensen are meant for each other. Yeah, I would agree. So much US2 between them. I didn't ask for this. I know it. I know it. Oh, God. I'm not part of this. That code always makes me drop my head. Is there a 1138 code? No. Okay, so this area loads the same every time. Like, that door there was just to serve as a loading area, so that camera is always going to be... Like, I always have to wait here. Gotcha. Unless I want to trigger the alarm, and I really, really, really don't want to do that. Yeah, that never ends well. Yeah, you have to wait for the caution party. Exactly. Yeah. Some security. No wonder they got broken into. They all put them the same okay. password. Might as well make it one, two, three, four, five. Let's say it's like those guys. They should change your job from, you know, from straight up security to security consultants. That way, that you can break into their headquarters and show them what they're doing wrong. I mean, that's not what he's doing right now? I no, no, he's just doing this for fun. Uh, he's leading by example. Uh, leading who? Who isn't he leading? He's leading the uh, security experts on a... Uh, mm -hmm. But he is the security expert. He is the security consultant. He's, one he's leading himself. Oh, yeah. I the whole plot makes sense now. Okay, next up. So I follow a very a very consistent route for picking up um picking up just guns and stuff, like just looting certain certain bodies and whatnot so that I can get candy bars. No, not get candy bars. Well I do get candy bars at one point, but they're not due they're not they're not largely in part to this. I'm just trying to get the first two practice kits at the first limit clinic. I'm sorry? Oh. So that's your sprinting speed? He's not. My default sprinting speed. Okay. Oh, okay. One, two, and then crouch up the third one, and that will, that will get rid of the dialogue between the two guys up here. Really? Yeah. See? Huh. Interesting. So I just kind of crouch, walk over here, and Zap. is it because you trigger their walking animation prior to them yeah. being able to talk? And since you're in sneak mode, they automatically enter their, you know, general guard hmm. routine. Interesting. Oh, I always whatever. wanted to. I should just run right past it because they can't trigger an they can't trigger an alarm anyway. I mean, like they'll they'll go they'll go hostile, but at this point, it doesn't even matter. Either. Oh, so this goes by Metal Gear rules, where getting caught. Okay. By your yeah, this is another this is another annoying thing about the PS3 version is the auto save comes in at like the worst possible time. Okay, and now I have to kill Zeke Sanders. Well, not kill him, but quiet time, right quick. Okay. 
because that's a game. Oh, no. So wait, you still get your dad? No, he's just I need that revolver. Like, there's, there's, di there's dialogue here, so I can take my time and pick up, pick up all of these stuff. So I guess the stealth here works up your mouse, where it's got how often you're caught, it's how much it's Uh, yeah, it's, it's, well, it's, but it's the alerts. Yeah, it's, it, it's all about the alerts. Yeah, I kind of figured that. So if I get three alerts, it's game over? No, not really. It's actually not game over. They, it's just the all the guards are pissed off and they try to kill you, so... Yeah. I can imagine this oh, wait, they have pretty high success rate. I was referencing the wrong game. I was referencing Splinter Cell. It's not a game, Fisher. Mm-hmm, okay. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. That was a good series. The first, the first one and uh, Conviction were actually really good. I didn't play Conviction because uh, Pandora, Sorry, not Pandora. I actually like Pandora. Well, I mostly liked its co-op. <laughs> Just a reminder too, in addition to getting in on the prize drawing for the copy of this game, you can also uh, donate towards which character Carcinogen plays in uh, Resident Evil Remake coming up in a few hours. Uh, it's currently only $5 for Chris and $7 for Jill, so that's a uh, wide open race at this point. Wait, how much? Five for Chris, seven for Jill. Oh, okay. Yeah, exactly. It's wide open. Get to donating. Get to donating. Oh. Uh, either one of those runs would be fun, so put some money towards it. Make it a little interesting. Why wouldn't you want to go for Captain Cantaloupe Arms? Well, this oh, well, was that's before you started. Excuse me. Before you started you know. bench pressing walruses. <laughs> I don't much. think we have to officially call it a Jill sandwich. Uh, <laughs> uh, only applies to uh, chicken. I don't know. It might be worth considering. We could bring this into discussion. Now, ever since I've been on these elevators, I always think back to Mass Effect. Yeah, that's kind of that's kind of what that's kind of what, that's kind of what purpose they serve is. Well, yeah, like, yeah but Mass Effect's effect ones were just amazingly long. Like that one. But Mass Effect, you like. Okay. So coming up here, um, I accept I accept the side quest from uh, I accept the side quest from Megan's mom because like you have to um, go there anyways. Well, no, you no because like I don't actually do the quest. I accept it because it's faster than declining it because there's extra dialogue. She's like, oh, oh, I understand, and it will cost like five seconds. So I just I just say okay, I'll do it and flick out. That's not very nice. <laughs> you ever regret it towards the end? He didn't ask. Well, I don't know. I could always, you know, I could always tell her, oh, yeah, she died a very painful death. Yeah, like, you're given the option to describe how her daughter was murdered and... Yeah, okay, so first, uh, so first practice, uh, seven the processes. I get, I get the speed limit in a second, but I'm about to, um, I'm about to get some money here. Basically, I sell all the things I picked up in the, um, in the first, in the pro, in the uh, first mission, and the first thing you buy is drugs. Uh, oh, oh, oh whoops. Whoa. Oh. Yeah, sorry. I, my, my is that because yeah, your difficulty level, or is that just how much, much damage you would have taken from that ball normally? Uh, that's that's pretty much both. A factor of both, really. Okay. Okay. Oh. Oops. Okay. I love this game. You just go like, "Yep, I don't need any weapons," and just sell them all. Okay, so I pick up the mind template. Hey, hey, get out of my way! <laughs> really? <laughs> really? <laughs> oh man! NPC troll. It would be way too much of a hassle. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah, sorry, sorry. Unfortunately, everyone, Malik I, is. I did not. Uh, that's that's. I, I I did not account yeah, that into my route because no, I'm already going through. Saving when he the helicopter lands, you just leave instead of 
Like, right, when the, ha when the helicopter crashes and you have to shoot all the guys? Yeah. Okay, yeah. okay so okay, one so hypostem, two of these, two of these. And then loading here is the perfect opportunity to go into my Praxis menu because I wouldn't be able to go out otherwise anyway due to the autosave. Does the cost of the Praxis yeah. from the stores, are you limited in how many you buy or in any way? Um, yeah, it's, basic, it's, basically two, it's basically two Praxis every time you go to a load clinic. Two Praxis and two uh, cyber protein jugs. But you can just go back to the normal. Well, yeah, well, throughout the course of the game, yeah, but I won't be able to buy any more now. Well, obviously. I don't think any of the other ones. You got a hundred dollar donation from Zachy Stars. You are the man. Five dollars from Samuel Zick. And five dollars from Brett Kopensky, who says, Good luck, guys. Uh, thank you, Brett Kopensky. Okay, so next I'm going to drop into the sewers here. There's always a sewer level. Yeah, th yeah, this game is full of a lot, a lot of sewers. So I'm guessing you break into the police station instead of trying to be diplomatic? Of course. Of course. Let's say, diplomacy being, never works. Yeah, being, diplom di being diplomatic takes too long. I would, so. I would suggest, though, it, it's it's very entertaining. Do it on your own time, viewers. Of course, not after, until after the marathon. Yeah, like I, like the only negotiation sequence I go through at all is with uh, is with Hugh Darrow at the end of the game. And that's because you have to. You're not giving now, they orders. have all these armed guards. Why would they electrocute the water? Those aren't armed guards. Those are just gangsters. They're, yeah, they're, they're just gangsters. Okay, so oh. first code is 2599. What's up? Uh, okay. And... Like the security, the security for the police station is just, is just you know, is just time, just time my way through to the, uh, to the morgue. So it starts on, off, on, off, on, on, off, on, off. Okay, nine, two, one, two. One hard to be going off twice in a row. It's an analog switch. Binary Okay, so I have Praxis points now, and I'm going to invest in Stealth, obviously. <laughs> Let's see, Stealth must be your best friend in this. It is. Wait, so Stealth let you go straight through those beams? Yeah, it does. Well, they detect physical things. I mean, you're technically physical, yeah, but don't def don't point out the logic in it. Okay, Let's so get I get this gun. Point. Okay, so I get that gun there, so to um, shoot out one window and to give to um, to give to the hacker guy uh, Van Bruggen to uh, get like a couple of thousand credits later at like seriously no time cost because there was dialogue there was dialogue there mostly. Hey, no, I don't, I, I, I don't care, I don't care. Go walk, start walking. But uh, wait, would you get a fatality kill for that? Uh, likely, but I can't, I can't really push him into the water. That sounds like a challenge. <laughs> He doesn't need to be. He is his personal thing. Okay, so climbing up here, push angle it, and put your Jensen go. UST thing as far as it can go now. I mean, it's not snaking on a con. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yes. There, there will be sequels, maybe. I. Wait, does. Uh, yeah, there's. there's forget, forget Snake and Otacon, Big Boss is, and Kaz. Yeah, like this, like I like how there's a lot of Metal Gear Solid references in the in like the achievements and whatnot. Well, I mean, just just in the achievements in particular, just yeah. Foxy's of the Hounds for no, for no alerts. Yeah, they definitely uh, they definitely cite their inspiration to a degree in this. Yeah, I mean, like you already have a, you already have a radar that makes that makes that makes that makes, that, that makes the stealth in this game a joke. It is fairly unique in for a it's an action shooter RPG stealth game. Yeah, you can cut out the stealth if you want, but it's not recommended. No, I, I've watched well on the harder on the harder difficulties anyway. But like you know, I but I've I've rolled around in easy mode in DSX like the first DSX like a lot a lot of times. Hey, open the door. Thank you. Okay, so I have to get this uh, pack of this candy bar pack here, and next. Yeah, because I keep seeing. 
Nope. I Now, if there's supposed to be a lot of different people who are out there who have been uh, cybernetically modified, why is it no one else has those cybernetic sunglasses? Because he's military grid. Is he just that special? Yeah. But he didn't. Of course, he's special. He's the player character. Well, and also, in, no, never mind. I was about to say, in every day of sex, is the main character has sunglasses, but I forgot about it. it, was a little... hey, it let's just not kill yeah. I mean, we can. So yeah. that would mean it both days, okay? Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to go through these. Uh, I'm going to go through more sewers here. Really? I'll oh, donate to see at least one, at least one okay. tap on the shoulder, <laughs> whack him, and I'm going to take down. Oh, wait, where Sweet. am I going? Oh, that's the wrong. There we <laughs> go. Get that? that? I'm sorry? I, I will donate for at least one whack on the head. <laughs> so tap on the shoulder, whack on the head, take down. Well, that's uh, not going to happen. Probably. It, it, like, I like I have I have no way to control that. Well, let's say it's random, whatever uh, takedown you do. Well, if it, happen, if it happens, it happens. But if it happens, I will donate. Okay, so I pick up these two grenades here. What, for the old 90s movies? <laughs> oh, he's, he's brutal in his, uh, his takedowns. Well, yeah, but that, that old 90s spy movie. Huh? And just crouch, crouch yeah. straight Well, I guess not 90s spy. It was more the old action movies where they always get one or two stealth moves. Then they pull out their giant... Then they pull out their giant missile launchers and start blowing up stuff for no good reason. Yeah, that's, that's pretty much what happens. Yeah. 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 Oh, I didn't get the ladder high enough. Whoops. Okay, so coming up, I do need a little bit of serious time. Because I have to get, I have to pick up some wall mines. Oh. Oh. Okay. Uh, yeah, I think this is fast enough. Okay. There's four mines. Mine time. <laughs> <laughs> I always set these kind of things off. I just shot him out. I didn't even know that was possible. Possible until I saw this run. Well, you can. Uh, well, I I knew that from playing. If you hold if you hold Shift and Control on the PC version, you can't actually do it. Can't or can? Oh, hang on. Six two. And I can. Well, if you like what you're seeing here, we are giving away a version of this of the uh, winner's choice. Uh, Ten dollars to get you into the, uh, the donation for it. It's a very fun game. I, it's totally worth trying to get. And you choose which system it's on, so you don't have to worry about getting sent a copy for the wrong system. Yep. We'll we'll get in touch with you, and you can just reply with one of your choices. Except okay, for the links. So, uh, I need the next level of this. Um, I'm gonna combine <coughs> that and. Did I get another? Oh, I guess I didn't get another one. I didn't even know this game had a combination system. Oh, yeah! Yeah, it does. Not for a lot of things, but. And I do need to. I do need so, you can't combine, that. say, the pistol with a grenade. Make a pistol yeah, with a grenade. That's the revolver when you upgrade it a little bit. Wait, oh, yeah, what? the revolver does blow things up yep. later on. When you upgrade the revolver, you get explosive bullets. Yeah. Why are you on top of the helicopter? Again? I'm going to see if I can get this. He's going to surf. I was, I was going to try and get the levitation bug. Like, like the little levitation bug, it happens like if you jump, like maybe if you like jump if you jump in a few frames later, the screen transition goes like he starts continuously accelerating upward. <laughs> it's kind of it's kind of a difficult bug for me to pull off. I got you. Okay, and. That's one of the last bullets you fire. Or is that the final bullet you fire on the game? Uh, hang on. Okay, there we go. 
Okay, the game provided us our obligatory F bomb power. It will probably uh, supply more. This game <laughs> is rated M for a reason. <laughs> I was trying to think of a word that would start with M other than Unicorn? Okay, M. So, I stealthed, uh, stealthed my way through there. Like, I'm trying to get as many ghost bonuses as I can so that I can get the next level of stealth as quickly as possible. Like, basically, the, whole, the, the key behind a good consistent run is just saving all your energy bars as much as possible so that you can just stealth through everything. Kind of like heaven. Energy is salvation in this game. Yeah, exactly. Oh, I used that hypo stem. I wasn't supposed to use that. That was that, that was that was completely accidental. I, I really really hate that. The way the menus work in this game, I just because it, because it allows you to select two things in the menu at once, and you have to like click the right stick in order to cancel it. For um, a little bit because. I don't know. I'll, I'll get a couple of bottles of painkillers. That'll be fine because I need because I need them for a for a drop coming up. Okay. Your character is quite the drug addict. Quite. There might even be. A, no, I'm thinking of full on. Whole planet is is addicted to drugs. Yeah. Exactly. Oh yeah. Okay. It's part of the plot of the game. Okay. Mm -hmm. Code for Highland Park is. <laughs> That is seven nine eight four. Okay. I occasionally have to remember that one. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. So your second really obligatory hour. <laughs> I don't know about that. Why is the children? Cover your ears if you're under the age of whatever. Could <laughs> yeah, you pick that up for me, please? Of course. Ah, uh, there you go. Thank you. Defends everyone of all ages. You will not be spared. So you're being stealthy right now. Yes. And like I can, I can let my batteries run out there because like they don't really, they don't really look for me next to the, next to the control panel. I'm gonna go in here and get a cyber. Oh, so it's right quick. still Metal Gear Solid view cones. Yeah. It, well, you can even see the general. Actually, I think there's an upgrade that lets you see a cone even. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, there is. It looks just like the Soliton radar. Just don't put anything over here Okay, so coming up is the first boss. The first boss is... Huh? Chaff grenades. Chaff grenades. No, I mines. I still want a third person option. I am... I, I get completely disoriented in first person games. And yes, that also means I get disoriented in real life, too. I like first person games. I miss old dungeon crawlers. We're coming up on the first, first boss fight, if I recall, right? First game yes. like really good directional level design. I don't mind as much, but I just okay. prefer the, the extra camera. One, two. Oh! Oh! I'm guessing that was. Oh. One, two, three. Crouch. Boom. That's it. Great that boss the, fight. That was the first boss. That was the boss. Yep. Yes. It was. If there was any uh, downside to this game, the boss fights are pretty mediocre. Well, the boss fights are outsourced. No, they're all like that. Actually, the second boss can be kind of well, no, awkward. No, they're, they're made by a different developer. Okay, so I'm picking up these uh, well, on the right side, you took him down like a boss. Yeah. Indu indubitably, I took him down like a boss. Quiet. Yes, I do. <laughs> That's of the course. best boss kill ever. Yeah, I think a lot of people. Because it's it's a big bug. I actually got him my first time okay. fighting him, but uh, it was it was a battle, yeah. and it yeah. and I also screwed up and I got it. I got my augmentation upgraded. You can still use. So I got it all. You can still use. Um, so you can still use the uh, yeah. the um, the context sensitive takedowns with the uh, with the chip. I have no idea. You don't know. There are some bosses. Uh, I, no, no, no. We're, no. Talk, we're talking about w w if you get the chip. If you get the chip that screws up your augmentation. Yeah, I don't. I wasn't able to successfully do it, but I was because I was just focused on shooting with everything I had in the world. I'm gonna go out and live and guess in the run. You do not get the chip. No, oh God, no. it would take not. so much extra time. Are you are you kidding? No, no. You got three new this, generations. But you're told so many times to go get it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Oh. That was a cutscene. It was a cutscene. We got $50 from Stephen Cooper. No comment yet. 
ten dollars from Tyler Bramlett, also no comment. And ten dollars from Zachy Stars. Hey Zachy Dragon here. I wasn't able to get a comment in for my one hundred dollar donation. I wanted to put fifty dollars each towards Mike eighty nine for the Pokemon trainer name and fifty dollars towards SMK for the rival name. <laughs> He's also split this donation amongst each two. Or you can do oh. Okay, yeah. And we are Speed Demos Archive, and this is our uh, Awesome Games Done Quick Charity Marathon. Every dollar being donated is going to the Prevent Cancer Foundation. Okay. So I don't talk to Pritchard here because that would initiate a that would initiate a negotiation sequence with Seraph. However, after I talk to Seraph, I can go back down and talk to Pritchard, and I'll still get a thousand experience points. So. That's Without why I jump that. up. That's why I jump up to the third floor elevator, since it will take me right back down next to next to my office. So it skips the conversation. Yeah. Yeah, it skips the it skips the negotiation sequence. So do you even care what you say at all, or do you actually have it regulated to say a certain dialogue option? Nope. I mean, I, I mean, like I do, I do, I do care about like certain things, like like in there, I held right and down just to just to get the conversation with Tiger to end. What are you implying? He cares. He cares a lot. God, Gertrude's cold. And it's lagging a little bit. To be fair, look at that jacket. He didn't even tie it up. Fair enough. It's future. Or is it warm? I, I, I forget what it's supposed to happen. <laughs> Shanghai! Tung Sha. Oh, it's already. Tung Sha. It's already to. Tung Sha. Whatever. Okay, so this is where I need the uh, this is where I need the painkillers. Oh, I thought you were gonna say serious time. Uh, maybe a little bit, but it's already kind of quiet in here, so. Yeah. Where is everybody? Okay, so here, get the Taiyang medical card. I oh man. Just right there, but that's not that's not what I'm worried about. I didn't think it would take that long, you know, two seconds. Okay, uh, where's... <laughs> there we go. That always gets me whenever they have a pre-scripted conversation speed run, where they're like, Why are you taking so long? I'm already finished and started going around the corner. <laughs> there we go. Okay, I still got it by the end of the dialogue, so that's good. Um, I need to check how many practice points do I have? Very right quick, sorry. Um, yeah, I'll go ahead and get the uh, get that. So I need to get that anyway and recharge my uh, recharge my batteries faster. It'll save on uh, it'll save on candy bars. Sweet tooth. That sweet tooth really helps out in the future. Uh, I'm on a diet. Sorry. Diet of nothing but candy. Yeah. Seafood and protein. Sea candy. Diet. <laughs> Living every ten year old's dream. Unless he has robotic teeth too. He might. His teeth are augmented. <laughs> They're all going to have sunglasses. <laughs> augmented. All of his teeth have sunglasses. Yeah. yeah, they're called cavities. <laughs> okay, so I need to stay in stealth here, but um, okay. The code is B R N G C H R M. It would it would normally be faster for me to hack this, but I don't have any. Um, okay, uh, I need that. Nukes. 
Yeah, I don't have any nukes, so I can't. So I can't get through that. Now, do you mostly get almost most of your like nukes and other hacking materials from nuke from hacking, or do you mostly um, get them from fighting in the environment? Generally, you do, but um, I'm trying to remember where I get. Oh wait, that's right. I, I I use I actually do have I actually do have a hacking kit that I got off of the dead hacker earlier, but I use it, but I use it for um for Taggart's computer later. Yeah. Figured you might want to heads up before you stroll into the hive. The owner's name is Tom C. Hunt. Tom being his last name. Rumor is he's tied to the triads. He's tied to the triads. It shouldn't be too hard to find him. Okay, one eight hundred. He's a sneaky guy. One eight hundred. Open sesame. Thirty-five hundred crossers. Fair enough. Okay, so, um, knock out the guy at the door, knock out the bouncer, because you don't like him? Yeah, because I don't like him. He, like, he, he, he just wants to take your money. A thousand, like, seriously, one thousand credits. Oh, really? That's, I was One thousand credits, just to, just to get into a club that I, you know. Well, what's the male to female ratio? I don't know. Is there ecstasy? <laughs> uh, it looks like it doesn't matter. <laughs> okay, there Punch him in the jaw. Solves all life's problems. No tap on the shoulder for that one. Now, no, like it, nobody even acknowledges it. He yeah. just punches him in the jaw in the middle of the If you just sat is. there, would they ignore that? Yeah, they just ignore it. Wow. Well, he must not be a good bouncer then. People must. Well, he's a, actually he's a bouncer. In well, maybe the people, maybe the people in the line, the people in the line would have noticed, but uh, they'd be like, yeah. Okay, zero four one five. It's a shame they never really expanded on the Montreal level. Okay. Yeah, a little bit. Hello. I heard you. Oh yeah, I forgot <laughs> you went to Montreal on this game. Really That's how much it wasn't expanded on. Unfortunately, unfortunately, the only game I can really say aside from this couple of Pokemon is completely separate than Canada. It happens to be Skylight. I think there was a couple other games that were set in Canada. I just can't remember all that time. Skylight's the only one that matters. Um, I'm avoiding the practice kit from Bobby Bow because it takes too much time to get it. Like I, like I did that in a lot of my in a lot of my older runs, but it takes too much time to get it. Really, I don't need it. It looks like you already got a good deal of upgrades, seeing as you didn't really. Yeah, I mean, like the only bad luck, I, the only bad luck I've had so far was in the very beginning of the game, and like normally, normally that's that's extremely negligible. Because I hardly fail. We got a new fifty dollar donation from Stephen Cooper. Thank you, Stephen. <laughs> so, what's your uh, target time for a submittable run for this? Uh, my target time would probably be like 142, maybe less than one, somewhere between 140, 142. Single segment or yeah, single segment. Although, the, although it would probably be, I'm not, I'm not entirely sure what the ruling would be for this game in particular because, like, I, like, I'm not sure whether I should. No, I won't buy a solid stage drive for this game. That's cheap. <laughs> Well, if you're run would you be running it on the PC? Uh, I would be running it on PS3 because oh, I, yes. like the reason I chose to play the PS3 for a uh, single segment is so that I have a um, comparable metric to other console um, right. Right. other yeah. console runs. Yeah. Yeah. PC can fluctuate so much. Yeah, it can fluctuate. It can fluctuate so much. So, man, your guy has ups now. Okay, now I talk to this guy, and I give him my gun. With all of three bullets, that's all he needs. That's all he needs, just three bullets to survive. If you only had one bullet, would he be able to do that? Would he be able to do it? Yeah. You can, you, can, you can give him an empty gun and he would survive yeah. the whole thing. Well, he just throws it at somebody and that's enough. No, yeah, it's like a boomerang. It's... That would work, I guess. I just wanted to Not give really. a brief shout out to my mother who's watching the stream. Hi, Mom. <laughs> oh, oh, no. There is my ghost bonus. Just run. Yeah, just run. Run like hell. There's 
a turret, the turret sees me anyway. Um, oh, I have to slow down here. Mines? Yeah, I need that mine. Dash. Run down? <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> I liked that game growing up. You liked it? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it was, it was like the first N64 game I beat, actually, but, uh... I liked it. Although I could never do very well on it. Uh, I always hated that one level where you're riding the cart. What I really hate train. is... Train. Oh, the train? Yeah. Dude, I love that level, are you kidding? <coughs> I mean, it's it's slow, well, but it's one of my... as a kid, I didn't like it. It's, no, it it's slow, but it was like one of my favorites. Okay, so go around the corner here, and there's two more guys. Nothing. It's still loading. It's <laughs> it has to oh, load. The game is not even See that? See it. that? It tried. It tried to auto save right there. That's why. Why does it need to do that? So the PC Should version wouldn't save like that. No, it, no does. It, it does. Well, I mean, it does. It it's does. It's just a lot it, faster. Can you turn off auto saving on the PS3 version? Um. That's a good question, but in my case, it's not a good idea for, for a marathon for run. For a marathon run, but like if, if you're going for an actual attempted run. Yeah, if I'm going for an actual attempted run, then yeah, I'm, t I'm turning off that autosave if I, if I can. I haven't, I haven't actually looked in the options oh, menu lately. Hey, which, uh, here's my dad. Uh, this is the English dad. The English dad? <laughs> 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 That's alright. Now you're into the yeah. Yeah. Uh, we got 2,700 people watching. <laughs> okay. Hi, 2,700 people. Yeah, okay. So I'm going to go into the level right. here and pick up some more uh, separate protein gels. Yes. Since I still have the financial means to do so. Excellent. Druggy. So we're about, um, I think we're about maybe halfway through the game now. We're about 51 minutes. Um, yeah. Where it's pretty uh, fast, but the game, there's a lot more to the game, obviously. Well, yeah, it's now there's there's really not much to the game from here on out. <laughs> well, he, I okay, think he's talking okay. about an overall, oh, in, in an actual game. Yeah, like, actually, like, in an actual, in an actual for, for a speed yeah, run. But, yeah, there's yeah, not for, that much left. But <laughs> I, I think he was talking about. Oh, it's just the game in general. Yeah. Yeah. Did you see the room? Yeah, we've got three new donations. Uh, we've got another ten dollars yeah, from, from the Englishman yeah. back there. Thank you. Uh, five dollars from Liam Flathers, and five dollars from Tyler Bramlett, who says wanted to say happy birthday to heirs. He didn't ask for this. Uh, <laughs> nobody did. Just a reminder too that for uh, anyone that donates ten dollars or more during this game gets entered in to win a copy of it for the system of your choice from our very own Mr. Hauser over there. Yo. Uh, We'll get in touch with you to ask which version you prefer. Uh, one of those sister ways would come early. Oh. Yeah, it's pretty much on everything. Us, this is Awesome Games Jump Quick, uh, hosted by SpeedDemosArchive.com. Uh, we are doing this marathon to raise money for Prevent Cancer Foundation. Okay. And uh, we hope you'll consider donating if you haven't already. We've got a lot of great prizes we're giving away throughout the marathon, and it all goes to a great cause. Yeah, I'm gonna save this guy. Does it what waste a kind time? soul you are. Now bonk him on the head. Nah. I think he suffered enough. Oh, actually, that does save time, doesn't it? Okay, I'll save this guy. Do you actually care? No, no, not even a little. I'm going that way anyway. Early version of invisibility off of it, which lasts a couple seconds right now. Did you upgrade it at all? Yeah, I did. It's fully upgraded. Can the camera still pick you up? No. Nope. And you are in cloak. You pretty much are invisible. To everything. I think augmented individuals can see you, though. No. Oh. 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 There goes my ghost bonus. Okay, so really all you need to get through here is just high jump, that's it. 
I imagine I this see this room this room is completely negligible unless it's in unless it's in the wild probably. So busy with this. Now, does the high jump have any real practical uses in normal gameplay? Oh, it's uh, all of the practical uses. Are you kidding? Yeah. It's invaluable. Like it should be one of the earliest upgrades. Well, I actually really miss it in Skyrim. Not being able to jump so well. I've heard they were, it was pretty hilarious in the other Elder Scrolls games. Yeah. But I'm not really a big fan of the series, to be honest. So. <coughs> but I got Skyrim. I went it was on sale. I got two dollars and ninety nine cents from Laurent Lolo, also known as Electroshock. Who says, uh, "Davis." Oh, okay. Sorry. Um, Deus Ex is a good game that he likes. Uh, he doesn't have Human Revolution yet, but hopes to someday. Good luck, Carcinogen, and have fun. Oh, yeah. thanks, Electroshock. It's a good game. You should get it. It, it. it is worth. Look, especially apparently, if you're a fan of the older games, you'll even still like it. Maybe. Four, uh, seven, it's been pretty well three. received. Yeah, it looks good. Mm -hmm. Okay. The, the first it looks Deus good, Ex too. Is one of my favorite games, and I really like this one, too. It's not quite as good, but oh, no. I like a lot. Okay. That, that should show <laughs> the quality they they for, they really took the time out to put Yeah, this jumping game. is a little bit difficult. Jumping the, or jumping that uh, jumping that rail is a little bit difficult, but yeah, they made it through without getting yeah. hit by a train. Wait. Not that kind of rail? Oh. Uh, just a reminder, if you check out our second stream, the one that's not being used for gameplay right now, we do have a list of some of the upcoming uh, challenges that we're coming towards. And uh, you can also, on our main page, speedgamesarchive.com, uh, under the banner and above the stream, we have a link to a page that shows all of the uh, challenges that you can donate for if you want to sign your to upgrade your mic boards. And if you have an idea for a challenge that's not on the list, feel free to uh, you know ask the moderator or ask the chat, and we'll see if like, you, want, you know someone to do something specific in the game, like watch a cutscene or something, or if you want someone here to physically do something humiliating, just you know, let us know and we'll see if it's in the cards. <coughs> the price is right. We'll do just about anything. Remember, we're playing Devil May Cry later. We can fill your dark soul with light. I wanted to be the one to fill your dark soul with light. I forgot your voice cracked. Kureshi says hi, but... Oh, hi, Kureshi. Hi, Kureshi. Okay. I miss your piano. Yeah, Kureshi, for those who don't know, does our wonderful piano accompaniment for Battletoads, Castlevania. Nine, zero, six. He also kicks Major Bud at a lot of ghouls and goblins and other assorted maskings. It's a good monster party. Don't forget monster party. And Jaws. 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 Probably the earliest game with a really messed up ending. I turned your gun into a knife somehow. What? He's talking about how he survived. Oh, is that the guy who gave the gun? Yeah. <laughs> I, gave him, I gave him the gun and he just gives me 2,000 credits. Yo. For being awesome. Just enjoy it. Does it pretty just good randomly pop up? Or I'm sorry? Is it always when you're riding this elevator? Always when you're riding this elevator. Yeah. I was very sad. I uh, I did that. Like, I gave him the gun, and I gave him my silenced Uber handgun. Oh. I was just Ouch. like, why? Because it doesn't let you choose. It just gives him a gun. Uh-huh. Okay. That happens in the I'm first game. saying that you didn't ask for that. I definitely didn't ask for that. There's a, there's a few different times in the first game where you can uh, give somebody a gun and it just like picks your best gun that you happen to be carrying. Well, it's my best gun was a handgun. Yeah. I just had it rigged out in such a way that it wrecked every boss. I like this line here. To be fair, he really cares about the people he's trying to save. Yeah, well, so do I. I don't care enough to give him a hand. <laughs> well, apparently your character cares more than you do. Okay, so here I'm gonna get a, I'm gonna get a buttload of praxis right here. Like I don't, like there's just there's How much so many specifically is it bought though? Like three praxis. So let's say three or four probably. Yeah, because see that? I got I got like I got like almost five thousand praxis just there. I find it funny that the definition of or five thousand changes so rapidly. Okay. So there's Is that a chap grenade? Yeah, they're chap grenades. Oh this is oh, technically really? a boss fight, isn't it? It's not really. Sub boss really? maybe. But yeah. I mean it's kinda 
Except boss, you just killed with two grenades. Oh man. What happened? I didn't. I didn't get the. I didn't. I didn't aim my. Aim the grenade, right? high enough. Whoops. <laughs> yeah. Normally, I'm supposed to. I'm supposed to target the camera, and that usually arcs it just enough so that it, it attacks the first one. But um, yeah. Basically, you get hunk and junk bonuses for both of them. Like only two. Only two fifty. But the real bread and butter is the. Uh, is the. Uh, What's it? Red. Just the objective bonuses. Okay, and there, and there. There, see? Oh, what? Hey, no? Get back up there? <laughs> Not too soon. I just got two more boxes. Early, I think you did. Or you well, got you one more already. Least. Okay, <clears> so I take advantage of like the landing and the dialogue here to pick up another cyber protein jar, and uh, then I talk to her, and then I go under the landing pad for another box. I'm curious what the difference between protein and cyber protein is. Um, about 4,000 credits. Oh, alright. Actually, I don't know if that's accurate in the slightest. Okay. Uh, You're probably sassy with that about when the shirt mouth. goes on sale. I think it's another two hours, roughly, and you'll be able to yeah. find that at the yeti.com, Y-E-T-E-E. Yeah, close to yep. an hour. It's 5 to 11. Wait, how many practices? I, I, I have three now. Yeah, it's one, now. 1 o'clock Eastern that the shirts go on sale. Oh. So they're nice shirts, and they come in a lot of different sizes, too. Well, midnight Central is what Mike found. Molly tells me you want Eliza to sign a location. Yeah, for someone else who is asking, sorry, I don't have your name. Um, I think Rogue Leader was originally supposed to be on the schedule, but the person who volunteered to run it uh, either had the. I can't remember if he was. Who was it? It was Tigger and the dropped out. That's yeah. Too much other stuff to run. Well, not even to run. It was just this um, personal school thing. Oh, he didn't have time to practice it. Yeah, yeah well, he was also going to practice a lot of yeah, I'm missing a couple of uh, ghost bonuses, like maybe two or three ghost bonuses, so... Triggered a silent alarm, so I have to get out of here. But yeah, by the way, room 404, I like, I like, the, little, I like the little bit of fourth wall they have there, because room 404, like 404, reporter not found. <laughs> I forgot about that. Oh, so that's like the name of the quest? No. It's, it's just a room. It's a little. It's, it, it, that's, that's just the number of the room, and. Okay. <laughs> okay, we've got five dollars from Janice Chaffee, five dollars from Liam Flathers, ten dollars from Stephen Melanchuk, and five dollars from Doug Chadwick. Thank you all of you. Hey, uh, Puesa, who was the first person? Uh, first person was Janice Chaffee. Oh, okay, never mind. I thought, I thought you said David Chaffee for a minute. Like, wait a minute, the <laughs> David Chaffee? I was about to say, oh my god! Just a reminder that all of, every dollar donated is going to the Prevent Cancer Foundation, too, which is our charity partner for our marathon. Mm -hmm. You can see their lovely banner in the back, although the camera's a bit small, so you might not be able to make it out that well. And then the banner above that, too, is our Twitter prize for this marathon. If you click the tweet button at the top of speeddemosarchive.com, you'll be entered into the uh, contest. And, uh, just once. Yeah, yeah, only enter once, because uh, if you enter twice, you'll be disqualified. If you enter more than that, you'll have to make us a new banner or, or something like that. For those who can't see it clearly on the screen, because I know it's kind of small. Okay. Um, so this, this takes two minutes, so yeah, just was I'm talking, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, for those Nap time. Who, um, the, I don't know if we have a picture of it on the site, but basically that banner, it has a lot of the character artwork from all of our past marathons that Lindsay King did. No, it's actually, it's, it's, it's all, it's all, it's all the banners for this marathon. Yeah, yeah that's it's, like it's, a No, it's some of them from the last one, the summer marathon, too, because uh, we're not, the Katamari banner was for last marathon. I know that for sure. And well, well, we're doing Katamari again. We are, I know, but it's, I know that the artwork from the last one. Yeah. 
I think it's a combination of a lot of the artwork. Well, well everything on that. Either way, it everything, awesome. everything that's on the banner is in this marathon. Yeah, yeah. that's that's true. Yeah. yeah, that's the important part. Yeah, and basically, pretty much all of us that are still here at the end will sign it too. Yep. So back to this. I should probably explain what's going on. Uh, normally when you're playing this game, this is like a uh, defend the elevator sequence, or just defend yourself. But uh, apparently you can just hide in this corner over here and it doesn't matter. Just hide right under the stairs here. And they don't care. Yeah. It's normally actually a pretty entertaining sequence, because you can do something like there's a gun turret up there, you can hack, and it, it's, it's or, fun. You can hide in a corner. Except for the stages that can't physically no, you don't kill people when you hide in a corner. Why do you have to kill people? Why do you have to not kill people? Firefights are boring. Yeah, but you don't even have to do it. You just put them after the hell the uh, gun turret just sees all the work. Besides, why would you want to attack them on the torch? They're listed in the description. Yeah, are they? Yeah. They were three days ago. Unless somebody deleted them. Well, and again, if you donate uh, ten dollars during this run, you are getting on a drawing for to win a copy of this game for the system of your choice, which includes Xbox 360, PlayStation 3, and PC. Of course, the PC version, I should warn, is a little demanding. It's not the worst game in the world, but it's far from the best in terms of hardware usage. That would require a ROM hack, but I, it would be oh, worth it. <laughs> that should be the one ROM hack we allow on SDR. Which uh, Rainbow Shoe only for SDR. Oh, okay. <laughs> 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 so what? Well, you know it would be amazing. What are you talking about? I finally learned only a couple of weeks ago what a Kurabo is. It's this <laughs> right. Japanese name for Goomba, yeah, yeah. but they never translated it. Just like how Shibun is the Japanese name for Goomba. Just like the Japanese name for Goomba. Oh, the flavor is the fact that with everything about the Oh yeah, I was about to say, time for the plot twist, but yeah. I forgot you already passed it. 8 2 like a router. <laughs> Ignoring the plot twist completely. Now, out of curiosity, can you get a rocket launcher? Uh, you can. Yeah, you can. I can play the script ever getting a rocket launcher, though. Yeah. But the more important thing is that you're capable of getting a rocket launcher. Yeah. There's a lot of fun ones. Because a shooting game really just shouldn't be without a good rocket launcher. Well, I did suggest that could do a Come on. Land, elevator, land. I mean, it's a stealth shooting game, really. Yeah. Yeah, like an actual, well, I guess it would be hard to get one of those sets all. Yeah. Uh-huh. Well, no, it'd have to go all the way up. It'd have to go up to your chest. 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 It'd have to wind up cranks. Yeah. That would be a big grand prize. Mine. And a life size group of those jars are huge. <laughs> those are bigger than the guns in your inventory. Well, when you had them. Well, yeah, but when he had a gun, it took up as much room as his protein cartridges. <laughs> now, is there any way to have picked that one up? Yeah, but I think it's faster to just let it detonate. And you don't need it? Like yeah, you need the other ones? Okay, 802. That's kind of a high intensity pack right there. Okay, so next boss fight. Does it involve more mines? Yes. Really? <laughs> wow. That's actually kind of a difficult boss to a degree if you're unarmed. Really? Unarmed, but, well, um, I just beat her with typhoons. I've never actually beat her legit. Oh, be see, I I didn't have typhoons on my first playthrough <laughs> or mine, so I was like, okay, what do I have to work with? And it wasn't much. Okay. I didn't have so I walked into the hallway. There. I have that triggers me. that triggers the landing over there, and it gives me enough time to pick up the uh, server protein jug and the 
pack of separate protein bars. It's interesting how many sequences like you can load and just kill time with. Yeah, exactly. So about how far are you think we are? Um, we got about maybe half an hour left. He's he's on the tail end of this now. Hey, uh, do you ball in time? Uh, one and a half six. Okay, thanks. Well, that was including the like, minute or so. Or, would, or did, was the timer stop? I'm sorry, what? Well, there was that minute or so we had to cut the stream. Are we, are we still running versions over here or something? I think he's using W-Split. I'm going to give a tutorial. Say, there are far fewer sewer levels than you originally oh, like yes. implied. Will there be more of them? Oh yeah, they're coming up. Let's say Detroit's revisit is pretty uh, yeah, it's, sewer-tastic. It's, yeah, it's pretty sewer-tastic. Mm -hmm. So this is the future. You're in the sewers. Are there any teenagers oh, you like this one? Um, no. got two hundred dollars from. That would have been uh, no. Chichi. That would have been a good reference. It wouldn't have been bad. ASDA is an actual developer who worked on Deus Ex: Human Revolution. I got to oh, say, wow. it's bringing a smile to my face to see you guys absolutely break the game. I spent years working on. <laughs> it. <laughs> Sorry. I can to support the cause and keep up the good work, Carcinogen and the rest of SDA. Oh, well, well, thank you, thank you very much. So any consolation, it's a fantastic game. <laughs> so uh, yeah, please, uh, can I can I ask can I ask a favor? Next day is X. Like provided, iOS Montreal is working on date on the next day is X. Please, please, cut the long intro cutscene. Please allow allow me to skip it. That was that was that was like that's that's like that's like six minutes every time I have to restart. Come on, come on. Even if it's just for him. Be nice right. to me. Patches. <laughs> Right, so we've got another ten dollars from Kevin Giger and Giger and uh, forty dollars from Joshua Johnson. So what happens if the guy who made the game wins the game? Well, I mean, they have they have like as far as I know, as far as I know, they have like little speedrun competitions and like say id software and uh, that stuff. Yeah, I'm trying to get close to those times. It's, getting, it's kind of difficult. I was able to get it below three hours, but. Oh, um, that one on the far right still on. Oh, it's this TV Oh, no, that one was off. Oh, it's a standby. Oh. So it's saying that we need power time or just like a bit changing. Yeah, it's definitely that one. Yeah. Sorry. We can just turn it on when we're changing DVDs or doing something that might change the sound. Much. Well, I think I would do the dollar city. Sorry about that, people. Okay, so. Okay. so we do not have black uh, black boxes. For now, could you, if you wanted to, stop and get a drink from that machine? Uh, don't know. Oh, wait, were you talking to me? Okay, so this is where I actually do want to hack because this hacking node is considerably shorter than the one on Windows computer. Oh wait, no, I meant to I meant to nuke that. Well, this could be awkward. Whoops, that's oh, that that took a little longer than I wanted it to. <laughs> okay.
Now, are most of the storyline required hacks fairly easy to do comparative to some of the? I think every single um, the one that you might at some point be required to do, I think they're all level one. Okay. Yeah, they're all they're all level one. Like only the like I have I have the codes for everything. You don't actually need hacking at all in this game. We got twenty dollars from kind of the Rochesse the third. Oh, and remember, a $10 donation gets you in the running for a, your own copy of this game if you don't have it yet. Uh, and it could be for any console. We'll get in contact with you for your preference. It also goes to the Prevent Cancer Foundation. All of the donations go to the Prevent Cancer Foundation. Very good cause. Mm -hmm. Well, I was wondering if you maybe... Right, I need to go to the Bull of Clinic here and uh, get more protein jugs. It's kind of annoying that they only let me get two at a time. Oh, here's one. Well, there's just tons of donations coming in from the foundation. I mean, maybe it could Okay, then coming up to Sandoval's apartment. Um, Zeke Sanders is obviously still alive. But, um, you know, he's, he's negligible. He's just. No. Let's see. So was he in jail then, or he was in, he was in jail? Like you could you can't encounter him in a jail cell if you leave him alive. But um, but he but he like I don't know. Since his brother was Sandoval, you know Sandoval just bails him out. Of course. Now, out of curiosity, by this point in time in the game, I could have swore that your partner would have been, or is that a little bit later? This, it, this it's about to happen. Oh, okay. I thought that was a little bit earlier in the game. Spoiler alert, Malik dies. Nobody cares. Aerith dies too? And no, Snake she kills does. Dumbledore? On, Snake kills Dumbledore. This. Snake? <laughs> Snake! It was his sled. Well, Malik, actually, even bigger spoiler, Malik doesn't have to die. Carcinogen just doesn't care. Oh, yeah, no. You're right. He he hates her. Okay. It's because she swore earlier in the marathon twice. A lot of people. Swore. Oh, and we've well, yeah, got uh, she five dollar Canadian no donation from Lana, who's the Englishman's sister. So I guess the English sister. Oops. <laughs> That's the blood kind, not the. Oh blood no! Kind, I got right? shot. Yeah, <laughs> I got shot. <laughs> oh, that's unfortunate. Oh. You got shot. Okay. Yeah, it costs you Lana. It's like it's like a, it's like thirty seconds to reload the game every time. But <laughs> where did where did it auto save? Oh my God, Hauser, tell me where Someone, did it auto save? Like, uh, I don't you remember. Take, in a place you wanted it to. What is the equivalent of five Canadian dollars? No. It's uh, I'm, I, I don't it's know. I'm five, just yeah. saying the what you want. The dollars are parody. Near parody. <laughs> hey, hey, it couldn't have been that long. The auto save in this game is pretty slow. As of yesterday, it's like a five dollar currency. Oh, really? <laughs> they love you. <laughs> and the sewer time again. Yeah, I have to. I have to wait a second because I didn't have enough HP to drop. Oh wait, what's the point of that? I can just climb down the ladder. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> Who shot you? Is there someone at the bottom? God, I should have. I should have flicked on my. I should have flicked on my. Uh, Stealth? Yeah, I should have flicked on my stealth before I before I went out of that room after I have to turn the lever. That was stupid. That was awkward. That was just a goose. Mm. This run is terrible. <laughs> was it loony? Yeah. Happy to begin with. I mean, That's all I'm saying. Makes as much sense as most American slang. I mean, I guess Penny is short for pants, so. Yeah, but that's the only thing I can still see me? Oh my god, don't shoot, don't shoot. Thank you. We're good. Don't shoot, I'm unarmed. <laughs> Technically true. Now. He has like, is oh, wait, no, you're right. Back later with bunch of cousins and get it Perfect. Okay, we're good. 
Master. Oh. oh. That's a slower. Okay. <clears throat> okay. And around the corner and go. Yeah. So much for so much for no alarms. Yeah, they know where you are now. So much for no kills. <laughs> <laughs> that was cold, man. Uh, yeah, I mean, he was gonna off himself anyway. Well, no, no, no. That's only if um, that's only if you uh, talk to Tagger or plant the evidence on the computer. Uh, so, did you decide to kill him right there because you set off an alarm? Yeah, no. It was actually. My, I think my finger slipped. I mean, you know. It's worth it. Whatever. Whatever. I would have. I would have just. I would have just walked out to it. Walked up to him. Not Your finger anyway. slipped twice. Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, you know, we're speedrunners. We're not controllers perfect. get real sweaty after a while. Yeah, they sure, they sure do. Whoops. Yeah, you get really sweaty. Ah. Okay. This just did slipping causes homicide. But whatever. I mean. I could have gone no kills if I wanted to, but I I don't know. I I just I just felt like it. I needed to let off some steam, I'm sorry. But yeah, um I don't need any more um I don't need any more mines for the rest of the run. How about practice? What? Praxis. Oh, Praxis. Um, yeah, I still need. I still need plenty of Praxis. I don't need any more energy drugs either. Like that's one point. It's the last one I have to go to. What exactly do those do? Oh, those, those just recharge the batteries. Oh, okay, yeah. You can tell if they're doing it because they'll actually say it's fine. I think I've a lot of inventory space for just doing that. I'm sorry? I take up a lot of inventory space for doing that. Usually yeah. that kind of stuff in the game would be tiny. Well, there, it's it's a large grade. There it goes. Yeah, levitation. Nice. Yeah. That's goofy. Okay, the next code is 4589-3295 for the dock. Okay, we've got uh, ten, do ten more dollars from Zero Valentine. One more small donation before I drop off for the night. May you guys double or triple your goals. That would be so amazing. Yeah. That would be my crazy. So SDA is awesome for doing these charitable marathons. This goes for Pinky as the trainer name in Pokemon. Cheers. Okay. So, uh, how much are we up to right now? Have we, have we hit 10k yet? Well, we've been over 10k for quite a while. We're at like 13,000 or something. Oh, wow. Like 12,496. Okay. Yeah, okay, so close. Close to 13. Yeah. And we also got $10 from Brandon Armstrong. <laughs> oh, Duke, what's up, buddy? <laughs> yeah, so the rest of the runner. That's uh, uh, the guy that did the night run. 12,500, yeah. basically. Wow. He is. Yeah. No, it's 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 not my friend. Oh. It's it's uh, a Ekabit. E K U D. It's it's it's, it's the Duke spelled backwards. Sorry. Vanquish is next. So as soon as we start Vanquish, he doesn't he doesn't appear on the forums often anymore. But you know he's kind of there. We just have a limited amount of space. Yeah. I'm just curious. He donated. He's a man. Has anyone donated? What? Yeah, that's me. Yeah. Oh, now, why did I jump up there? I didn't need to jump up there. I guess I was just forced to have it. <laughs> Is there a link to the tracker webpage on the front page somewhere? Um, okay. So now bad things happen? Yeah, bad things happen. No. So did you did you log? Did you put the bid for whatever you wanted? Is some people gonna die? I would say you know it's, it'd be funny that you your your actual kill count is equal with like you could characters you care about that are like you know important you kill count yeah pretty much now are you able to kill her uh no but you're allowed to let her die our own SMK over there the master of psychonauts is putting in fifteen dollars right now for apparently whereabouts unknown or purpose unknown. 
And if you're just joining us, this is Awesome Games Done Quick by SpeedDemosArchive.com, our uh, annual winter charity marathon. Yeah. Currently got Chris <laughs> Carcinogen playing Deus Ex Human Revolution. And all the money we're raising is going Did to he just prevent cancer throat? foundation, our charitable yeah. partner. Uh oh. Oh, that's kind of hardcore. Yeah. Okay, please auto save, please auto save, please auto save. And uh, for every donation of $10 or more, okay, there. Uh, uh, anyone that donates $10 or more during this run gets eligible to win a copy of the game for the system of your choice. We'll contact you after the marathon to find out what you want. And also another reminder, um, if you donate $30 or more cumulative during the entire marathon, it doesn't have to be one single $30 donation, you have to all added together, you'll be entered in a chance for our grand prize, which this year is a absolutely awesome uh, Master Sword replica. It's like a you know life-size, real yeah. metal Master Sword, and it just looks amazing. Yeah, if you click on the on uh, tracker link that's on our page somewhere and go to the prize section, you can see a picture of the sword and all the other prizes in there, and it is... I mean, it's Very worth, nice. like, it's, it's, I mean, it's, it's definitely worth a lot more than that, but if you, I think we are we said that you can be entered up to three times if you donate, for every $30 you donate, so $90 or more will get you three chances at the all on vegetations to check in with problem with technology, So far, I can't determine why. I had to put past that guy, otherwise there's going to be a touch scene who's going to try and bribe me. Gotcha. Did it say unapproved if there's no comment, or does it just say no comment? It shouldn't say anything if there's no comment. Because I've been, because I've, like, over half the donations we've been getting during this game have no comment. It's just troubling. Like, it could be people not leaving comments, or it could be... You know, well, I mean, you'll see it in the tracker no matter what. Yeah. Mm -hmm. is. So that's it. it's, well, it's, it's just a display thing for public users because, you know, somebody might be nasty. And we have to censor yeah. that. So yeah, I think I've been out here three times. Please forgive this intrusion, but David assured me of your cooperation and a contact of mine, Meng Yao, is in Hengsha waiting to pay you. And? I'll upload her coordinates now. Parking area this way. It doesn't have to be thirty dollars all at once. Like if you wanted to donate, you know, ten dollars during this game and then ten dollars towards the next, it can be over the entire marathon. Yeah. I'm gonna get the laser gun here. That's like one of three instances in which I actually use guns in the entire run. Hey, the guns, the door stayed open. That never happens. Hmm. Just another reminder, um, everybody does have to sleep at some point. We realize this, we're sorry if you have to miss one of the runs you were really looking forward to because of that. Um, but we are recording everything in high quality, so don't fret, you know, after the marathon, probably a few weeks after, because it'll take a while to process. Yeah, it's going to take significantly longer to process we, all this stuff. Yeah, we will have these videos posted on our site eventually, so you'll be able to catch what you missed. Yeah. And it will be in HD this time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. We had a little snafu last time with that. <laughs> well, I, don't, I wouldn't say it, because SN means situation normal. We don't want to say that that's normal. Okay. <laughs> well, I don't know. For us, it's not that abnormal, but... <laughs> okay. Um, can use one of these and go back to this and then use... Yeah, that's four. Yeah. And I uh, should be getting... Cyberbot X, that's just called Marathon Block. We've trademarked it. Yeah. <laughs> But yeah, there should be there should be a little more. Uh, there should be like two more packs of oh, yeah. somebody needs to get the uh, Icarus implant. Uh, 
I just wondering if you can get that. Um, I don't. I don't need it until like the end of the game. Even that's just a nice bonus to have. As far as I know, we are planning to do summer games done quick again next summer. I think I sent you a volunteer to ask them, so that should still be on. There has been talk of having a marathon in Europe at some point in the early part of the summer, about in the spring, to the last one in the planning stage. It would be pretty much a completely different group of people organizing. Come on, do it there. Okay. So there's the bomb. Now we're going to Omega Ranch. Bomb. And uh, if you play like the DLC, the uh, the missing link actually happens between the time I plant that bomb and after, and before the Omega Ranch. So. Omega Ranch is the bizarre one, right? Uh, no, that's Panchea. Panchea. Okay. So you're 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 approaching Endgame at this point. Now you're at the. Uh... Yeah. Something's wrong. I you, and a second later, I lost your GPL signal. It's like you disappeared into a black hole. Well, obviously, if you can find the transmitter and take it offline, I'll be able to track you. And keep it you switch you can see. But more important, it's a switch. Thank you. I don't even know about you. I think it's a switch. I'd like to turn around with a switch. Everybody, come here. Off to the area. Oh, great. Oh, no. Moving to it. 1504. Hostile on the run. How long does your cork last now? Oh, what? Oh, no. Okay. I have to reload that. Yeah, uh, my cloak lasts for maybe about like 30 seconds or so. I think. I think the max is 35. Like, it lasts like, well, no, 8, eight times 5. It's 30, um, 40. Should last 40 seconds. I don't think so. Something's wrong, Jensen. Oh, wow. Okay. And a second later, I lost your GPL signal. Oh, well, it's like you disappeared into a black hole. Got a bit, Jeff. Well, obviously. If you can find the transmitter and take it offline, I'll be able to track you. And keep you on a tighter leash. But more important is that you'll help you keep tabs on me. Make it energy where you're going to talk to me. Pizza? Pizza? Oh, uh, yeah, sorry, a bunch of people got together for pizzas. Okay. And didn't tell you that. Okay, so there. This is how it's supposed to go. I, I've been turning on my cloak like way too late. I don't even know why. Okay. Yes. One, five, zero, four. I think the TV lags a little bit, that's why. Because normally I play on a CLT. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Yeah, no. I was just still thinking what okay. I was going to do. Okay, next is 5377. What's there? I don't know where my wallet is. I don't know where my wallet is. Yeah. We're beyond good. This is like the only place in which I actually need to use the punch out walls. <coughs> That's a fun ability in some areas. But pretty situational. Yeah, it's very situational, but it's necessary for the shortcut here. All right, we've got three new donations. We've got ten dollars from Poison for the fairies, uh, wanting that to go for uh, SS Skinner to play Sonic Two. We've got ten dollars from Alexander Scott. Keep up the great work. I love your marathons, and I've been watching them ever since they started way back in 1822. Wow. I may have the year wrong, though. I should look into that. 
Thank you, Alexander. And we've got ten dollars from James Downing, also known as Aftermath. It's a very, it's one simple yet horrifying word: subterranea. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Uh, I, I may have to. Yeah. I think I'm about ready to pee my pants. That's, yeah. that's terrible. Yeah. 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 You're slipping yeah, after math. It should have said subterranean or rar. <laughs> yeah, my movement in that <laughs> corridor there was Why? really crushed. Okay. There, I can pull it. And that's the camera. There, turn that off. And suspicious. Go, 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 go. So there's the pizza in the next room. Can you order any? Yeah. Oh, yeah, if you ordered some pizza, then yeah. It's Four GPLs just popped up, including yours. Cross, Colvin, Barry. The missing one. Okay, so next, this coming up here is actually pretty funny. Um, another interesting, like, probably the only glitch that I actually exploit. I don't even know if it's a glitch, but it's. I don't even know how it works. I mean. But basically, I can take out uh, Jerome Namir in one punch. It's it's pretty spectacular. Like basically, um, he vaults he like vaults over the uh, like he vaults over the wall and you just smack him in one punch and the fight is over. Oh uh, man, it's 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 amazing. He's the only boss in which you can actually do that. Like I don't know, I wish I wish there was a way to do it with like say like say Elena for example. Okay, so I go over here and there, perfect. What? That looked really painful. It was. It was. But, yeah, I was supposed to... Like, okay, I run to that corner over there, and then I spin around, and then he jumps over the wall. When I see him uncloak, he's going to jump over the wall, and then I can punch him. You see him? He's right there. Yep. Come on. Oh! <laughs> ah, that's it. Oh. Yeah. But normally he was supposed to. He was supposed to jump over there the first time, but he didn't. Oh, another spoiler. Megan's not dead. Really? No way. You know, the load times in the PS3 are pretty good. Yes. Yeah, I've only But that's okay, because PS3 is really hard to program for. <laughs> Okay. Okay. So, coming up is the final area of the game. Um, the game is probably going to be over in about, I give it about maybe six or seven minutes. Uh, Trekhawk is with Vanquish. Okay, so, uh, if you're still interested in getting into running for a copy of this game, uh, 
you have about six minutes left. And uh, all it will cost you is a good $10, which will go, all of it will go towards the Prevent Cancer Foundation. Oh, hey, check it out. I got like five followers already on Justin. <laughs> Okay, so coming up is another is another uh, glitch I exploit. It's it can only be it can only be used once per run, basically, but um Basically, I pop into the menu while I'm falling, and I get the and I get the Icarus implant, so it cancels the Icarus animation like this, and I don't take damage from falling either. Huh. See that? Interesting. Yeah. Normally, I would I would have been dead there. Okay. Okay. And I break that window open with this gun, and now I equip that, and don't really use it again until the boss. Yeah. By the way, next time, next time someone makes a game that includes a laser cannon, please, please don't hide your boss's core behind a glass shield. Because, well, I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. Not bad. Twenty-six, twenty-two. <laughs> Just kidding. Four people okay. all of a sudden. They're like, what? All right. So, edge along here, and I can go here. And I need the KC implant specifically for this because it cuts two minutes off the conversation. Hey, just me. Well, so how's the uh, how's the bidding for uh, remake going? Uh, I haven't seen any of the advertisement a couple of um, times. Now. Yeah, so um, I'm going to be playing uh, the remake of the first Resident Evil on GameCube um, at about six this morning. So uh, if you want to donate for character choices, you can either Chris or Jill. And currently, what is it at right now? Uh, Chris five dollars, Jill seven. Chris at five dollars, Jill at seven. So it looks like I'm, I'm. So Jill is in the lead right now. I will most likely be playing as Jill, unless you know you want to chip in some money and you know. If the Jill sandwich isn't what you want to have for breakfast, you could always. Uh, yeah, that's true. Who doesn't like a good Jill sandwich? Mostly I just wanted to play without caffeine, but there was no Sprite, no caffeine, 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 no caffe
is it faster to convince them or is it faster to just piss them off? It's much, much faster to just piss them off because like I had I had to have the KC implant specifically for this. Mm, okay. But if but if I didn't have the KC implant then yeah, it would have been it would have been faster to um for for him to get pissed off and not tell him the code. <laughs> So which ending are you getting? <laughs> uh, you know, I, I if I if I practiced the routes for other endings, then I probably would have had like a donation a donation work for that. But there's like maybe twelve total endings, but it's really just a variation on one of the Wait, four endings you can get. There's actual variation of the four different endings. Yeah, depending on like how many people you kill. Like how, like how many? I think how many augments you get, maybe. But there's like, but there's like a good, neutral, and bad for each of them. Oh, really? I didn't know that. Yeah. My ending must have been pretty horrifying then. I didn't even notice the difference. I just, I killed a lot of people. <laughs> $60 donation from Colin Myers who says, this is Colin Myers from Wisconsin. I'm actually from Wisconsin originally too, so go Badgers. Yeah. Hoping um, that AGDQ never stops for years to come. Thank you, Colin. Okay. So just there, just there at that silo, um, like if, apparently if I fall out of slant, <laughs> that also cancels the Icarus animation, so I was able, so I was able to avoid all the twists and turns of just taking the upper floors by just dropping down there. There's a $10 donation from Keith Campbell. He says Chippen glitched out. He wants his $10 before it's gotten him. Got it. I, I do actually see the kind of thing. I think I do. Oh, no, it's a different person. Keith Campbell. Okay, it's a different person. Yeah, there was a person. Oh, what is... Okay. That's it. Now we are on the elevator, just the final boss. This final boss is pretty much the most difficult thing I've ever I've ever faced ever in my gaming career. And you're about to see why. I'd say sadly was I'd say sadly was harder. I mean it's 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 pretty difficult because like I mean all those turrets and you know having to kill those really hot chicks that they use as like a neural hub or whatever. I don't know. I don't know. I I, I, I just don't know. It's it's really hard. Is there a way to have an actual shoot up with the guy? I'm sorry? Is there a way to get ready to have an actual shoot up with the guy? Shit out now. So it's all it's all typical man after problems of what character you Uh yeah. Are we talking about for Darrow? Yeah. Probably. Yeah, it's all it's all diplomatic. Mm. But you can get him to tell you a sociopath. Yeah, not that I objected to the diplomatic, but it would have been nice to have uh, combat options as well. Even Probably put a bullet in his head when it's done. Yeah, that would have been actually that would have been satisfying. Can you? You can kill him. Yeah, you can you can kill him, you can kill him afterwards. It only takes like one laser gun shot, that's it. Okay. Congratulations, you have now become a zombie. Okay. So uh, we're almost at the very end. It'll be less than a minute now. Clear, clear. Yeah. Oh god, I don't even know what the hell you can do to this boss fight, but you're gonna do something. Yeah, I have no idea. What's what what is what is this? I'm invisible? Oh my god, really? That works? Yes. That's amazing. That's it. Time? Time or, or, no, no, not time. Okay, sorry. Hang yeah, on. So that boss is actually pretty game. difficult fighting it legitimately. <laughs> okay. I should know when time is. I played this game to hell. Wow. Welcome to the edge. It is not But you can see it from here. Okay, sorry. I just... So which one are you going with? That one? Yeah. That's the fastest one. Although I could always blow the place up. I mean, you know. No, Mr. Jensen! So are you literally right at the end? Or yeah, this, this is pretty much it. Yeah. Okay, time. 148.16. Okay. Alright, 
So yeah. for the deep philosophical part of the game. Okay, so ready for, ready for Vanquish? Uh, yeah, where's Trek Hack? Yeah, where's Trek Hawk? Trek Hawk. Trek Hawk. New Trek Hawk. Oh, is there... Oh, did he just finish? Yeah, I just finished. Oh, what was your time? Uh, 2016. Yeah, so, 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 yeah,
Yeah. Up, yeah, of course. Go ahead. Yeah, we got a five dollar donation from Zero Valentine. We said, shame be to you all if the fusion dance doesn't make the highlight reel. Five dollars, Pokemon trainer name equals Pinky. Yes. As the person making the highlight reel, I guarantee you that will make it in. <laughs> oh man. Then we've got twenty dollars from Noah Tomlin, also known as the Englishman over there. I definitely asked for this, looking forward to Human Revolution as well as the rest of the marathon. I just wish I could stay for the whole thing. Uh, we're here for this. Oh, by the way, we, if you, you like did ask for this. Yeah, absolutely. Copy of the team the You're not the only one. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. How's it? Nope, that's it. Oh, yeah. Um, the donation prize for this is um, a copy of the game for yourself. You can request which version. We'll get in contact with you, right? Yeah, we'll get, in contact, we'll get in contact with you, and you'll tell us which version you want. That's PS, uh, PlayStation 3, Xbox 360, uh, PC, a physical copy of the game, and a Steam key for it, if that's what you wish. I will need your Steam key for that, though. And the donation is $10, if I recall, to get in on that. How much is the game cost? And that's a good question. Actually, you might... It's... Yeah, yeah, but it went down. It knows that the price pretty quick. Yeah, it's, I, I would say maybe five. I'm actually surprised that there's a. It's not as like it's not as like twenty bucks on Steam, isn't it? I actually, actually it might not be. It might be forty. A couple days ago, for somebody, it's forty or more. It's still fifty, 50, 50 without the sale price. Yeah, so yeah, it's ten dollars to donation to get you in the morning. So in other words, yeah, if you were Human Revolution is getting a Macport at some point earlier this year. So that's true. If you're like me, you only have a Macport game. Um, but I mean, like the one thing about it's whatever version they prefer. The one thing about the Steam version is chances are that. They might have Steam Play for yeah. it. So, yeah. So like that. So like that way you can you can have both the PC version and the Mac version. Well, yeah. mind you, there, there's been a lot of there's been a lot of uh, <laughs> uh, Mac ports that for some reason are just on the App Store. Uh -huh. Like uh, Bioshock 2, they only only App Store. Now, are they going to release this game on the Vectrex? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't ask for that. I did not. It has to be a point and click adventure. You mean this game isn't already? Right? It's, it's, a, it's a it's a it's a rotate stick and point button. gun at the face. Actually, it is. So you're going to be very you're disappointed with this run, then. Yeah, Netflix lost so far. You know, so <laughs> no spoiler. No. I'm doing pretty good. Well, you'll see. You know, the game the game practically plays itself. I'm actually a little bit disappointed with her dress. What is up with that collar? Well, I mean, it's 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 like supposed to be a Renaissance. It's, it's the year 2027. Like, so, like, like, it's like the people that are dressed all Renaissance like support augmentation, and like the guys who are dressed like casually don't support augmentation. Yeah. Okay. I hope you've donated. Uh, so one of the oh. things I'm doing to maintain my to maintain my sprint is to not sprint around corners. I could just disable sprint and just turn around the corner. So when you turn while sprinting, it messes it up. Uh, I think it's slower. Because uh, because like you're kind of you're kind of wasting sprint. You're kind of wasting sprint going around yeah, corners. Yeah, you might as well just. Okay, I need an audio cue here for like maybe for maybe a minute here. I think it's gotta be the I think it's gotta be the bandwidth at this point because it's pretty soon on here. I think I need to drop it a bit Okay. Well, the graphics are really good on this. Even like you know. I it's, actually take it back. I do ask for his implanted sunglasses. <laughs> They're really, they'd just be really convenient. Well, not only that, but he looks ridiculous with that. His face just looks absurd. I think he looks like a pretty normal individual. Well, yeah, that's the problem. Like, when he went undercover, it looked ridiculous compared to his later in the game. Oh! You're hit. Wait, really? Seriously? You can do that? Wait, That's what awesome. Did you just kill that person? No, no, no. You're supposed to let that gate land, and yeah. you see her do this whole spin around thing, kind of like that. I didn't realize there was that. I just I just crashed right through. Like, oh, wait. Through. Yeah, I was about to say, like, I'm almost certain the gate closes. I don't know. I haven't played the intro since I first got the game, but I want to say the gate closes. Oh, no. Oh, no. This is not good. Oh, wow. Damn! So the intro honestly is some of the highest. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't. Death. I didn't. Yeah, I didn't crash fast enough. Like, there's, there's, <laughs> there's a lot of choke points in there. Well, okay, yeah. I guess I'm not. I guess I'm not really keeping this run. Oh well. Yeah. Um. Should I should I should see see At least you get to see a basic layout of one of our. Um, yeah, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> We've got a ten dollar donation from Rise Woodward Carlton. 
Okay, you know what? Actually, if we have a minute, I need to kill the stream for like 30 seconds. Oh, wow, really? Wait, did it load you? Yeah, it loaded me right there. That's some of the design in this game. I okay. really like how it doesn't automatically erase your auto save. It just sends it down a list. Is, is, there, is there a good time coming up that I can kill the stream for like 30 seconds? Um, yeah, you, you, you can go ahead. Okay, just all right. So I, I got to kill the stream for 30 seconds. It'll be back shortly. You said, well, second game of the marathon. Fifth game. Well, I, I told him I, would, I, I didn't tell him exactly which game. Yeah. Oh my god, I almost died. Yeah, your health is in bad shit. Oh no, never mind. I was thinking of a different area. That's uh... Okay, good. Now it saves here. That's perfect. Uh, give me Deus Ex. It's the hardest difficulty. Now, on yes. the run, would you say have, this is have probably they the hardest how much HP you have? Um, not, not really. So you I, 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 would, I wouldn't really say I wouldn't really say anything in this yeah, run is particularly hard. I mean, like if you watch if you watch my route, you can do it yourself. Essentially, that was just bad luck. It's a little slow. What is what is going on? Like that's or at least so. What about him? Is. He's dressed like that. He's dressed like a person. Um, you won't see much of him. He's dressed like a person. Like you know, it's kind of it's kind of a big. But oh, you'll see a lot of him if you use a lot. Yeah, you'll see it through his eyes. No, I mean, even if you're grabbing cover, it always zooms out. Oh, right, yeah. Is there a way I can turn this up and use it from the sub, actually? Because, um, I do run on several audio cues. Yeah, for almost all of my RPG runs, I have to go off audio cues because they won't shut up. But it's, like, mostly because I need to know, like, what the guards are going to do, like, especially in the yeah. intro here, because... I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try and see if I can get the game without dying this time. If I if I get a clean deathless run, I'll actually. If you submit. end up killing anybody in the intro, does it does it still count towards your overall kills, or do you have to? I'm sorry. Oh, in the prologue, yes, it does. Yeah, I'll do. A, I'll do. I'll do a pass at this run while I'm at it. I mean, why not? Maybe even try for no alarms. He's such a sarcastic little. That, that guy. Pritchard, yeah. Yeah. And since he he he'd like, fix an entire firewall. Since he dresses like a ponce, he's a, he he supports the everybody. I mean, you're in you're in one of that like number both, one. Like both Jensen, like both Jensen and Pritchard, it's like very it's very ambiguous who they support. Like, like throughout, the, throughout the plot, like they don't. Oh, well, again, I mean Jensen, you can kind of hit, make him like you know as if he supports it yes. or not. Like, you, yeah, but Pritchard is pretty ambiguous. Like they don't really he ends up not having Remind much of a choice, though. Well, he's going to die. Yeah. Someone, so. But I'm going to. I'm just going to. I'm just going to knock him out because, like, in my normal, in my normal route, I just. No. No. Okay. Yeah. 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 I have to say, I have to say this. I'm very surprised with the fan reception. Like it's this is it's a, really, a good, a really rare example of, of a long-awaited sequel that, that actually lived actually up to expectations. Yeah. It's a good game. Like, there is especially seeing as the previous game. The Invisible War that yeah. might have been helped get the high reception because Invisible War was such a letdown to get this game. Yeah. Supposedly, I've Invisible not played. Fantastic. Honestly, I played it. and I didn't even mind it that much when I played. It's just, I don't know. Mm. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not say I. This is really the my jumping in point for the series, and like I mean, I played one a little bit and two a little bit. Like this is a solid game. Yeah, it's very, very, very. Solid. Actually, my first point was actually Invisible War, so I didn't know what the hubbub was about. I played it. And I'm like, well, this is kind of a standard game. And then I went back and played one. I'm like, oh, well, that's why everyone didn't like this before part one. I still haven't finished. Actually, I've maybe I haven't even finished the prologue in that one. So Unfortunately, yeah, I was one of the few people for whom the voice acting was something that would turn off. I just I never found it bad enough to be charming, or bad enough to be charming. It was just sort of there. So, are every is every single code in this run consistent? Yes, it is. So you can you literally have just a list you run through in your head, and like oh yeah, da 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 da. Yeah, well actually I have it on my phone. But yeah, we already quotes on the page. Well, I mean, but I, but I mean like I have most of the list in my head. Yeah, it, it probably doesn't help. I mean, there's a lot of code actually. It might not be that many for a speed run, but there are a lot of codes in the game. Well, yeah, yeah, if you're trying to go everywhere, but my guess is that there's not as many. Hey, how's it? What's up? Hi, G. <laughs> well, <laughs> donate ten dollars now. 
How much was this? Oh, it was like it was ten ninety nine. Ten ninety nine. Ten ninety nine. Whoa, that low? Yeah, it was low. Fifty dollars for the gas. I was happy to pick up Skyrim. There is no better. I was happy to pick up Skyrim. I already owned it, so I didn't bother. And last one, ten dollars for Joshua McKean. Some must know. I'm not gonna be here. Okay. Okay, was so it the same the joke? Yeah. Yeah. So the Ashley Suplex is just bad. Also, there are uh, two other cutscenes that uh, I'm attempting uh, donations for. Uh, we're going to donate $25 if you want to see the uh, Your Right Hand Comes Off cutscene uh, from Chapter 4-1, and an extra 15 if you want me to voice act over it. And uh, 30 if you okay. want me to do voices for the Krauser Night Fight, Chapter 5-3. No, so, uh, so yeah, you want to see those? Oh, come on. There we go. But you were a big bad skull. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I'm not too good at first person shooters, so my flow is a little off, but. Well, on the bright side, this is a sneaky mission. Yeah, this is a sneak attack. That's why you have that suit. That's why you're. Uh, yeah. I haven't played a Metal Gear. All you need is while, the exclamation so. marks up with their hands. I mean, the AI, I hate to say the AI is dumb enough that it, it's comparable to Metal Gear. Isn't this the first Is it comparable to Tenchu Z? Tenchu Z is pretty bad. Oh, goody. Pritchard. It's pretty clear that Pritchard and Jensen are meant for each other. Yeah. I would agree. So much US2 between them. I didn't ask for this. I know it. I know it. Oh, God. I'm not part of this. Makes me drop my head. Is there a 1138 code? No. Okay, so this area loads the same every time. Like that door there was just to serve as a loading area, so that camera is always going to be. Like I always have to wait here. Gotcha. Unless I want to trigger the alarm, and I really, really, really don't want to do that. Yeah, that never ends well. Yeah, you have to wait for the caution card. Exactly. Yeah. Some security. No wonder they got broken into. They all put them the same okay. password. Might as well make it one, two, three, four, five. I'm about to say it's like those guys. They should change your job from, you know, from straight up security to security consultants. Yeah. That way, that you can break into their headquarters and show them what they're doing wrong. I mean, that's not what he's doing right now. No, no, he's just doing this for fun. Ah. He's leading by example. 